Hey guys, I'm back. I told you it wouldn't take me that long. I am bringing you a very different video. It is my straight hair routine. It's been about a year since my last one. And I am doing this to help introduce a brand spanking new product line from Smooth and Shine. They now have an entire line for not only straight hair, but also for us curly girls. And if you're not sure who Smooth and Shine is, I'm gonna put up some of these images of their older line, which I have known and loved for so many years, and maybe that'll help ring a bell. To kickstart this curly to straight hair routine, I did go ahead and start on freshly washed and conditioned hair, and I also made sure that I t-shirt dry to help speed up the blowout process. To make things a little bit more manageable, I am gonna start on section hair, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of water because it did end up getting too dry. Starting with Smooth and Shine's Camilla Oil and Shea Butter Detangling Mousse, I'm gonna make sure I distribute this throughout my hair and begin the detangling process. Now, I'll be honest, guys, my hair was pretty much detangled when I used this product, so I'm not sure how good it really is. I might actually end up using it when my hair is curly to let you guys know. Next up, I'm gonna apply the Camellia Oil and Shea Butter Anti-Breakage Lotion. You guys, this stuff is so moisturizing that I'm actually really looking forward to using it when I go back curly again. It's time to play. Once that product is fully distributed, I'm then gonna follow up with the Black Seed and Coconut Oil Straightening Polisher. Now this reminds me a lot of their old hair polisher and reminds me of why I love this brand so much. If you notice, I always like to work in sections, so I just go ahead and repeat the same process. I first apply the anti-breakage lotion and then the straightening polish to each of the sections and comb through to make sure that the product is fully distributed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair using my Ion Whisper Quiet Light Blow Dryer. It's my favorite. And you guys have already seen a blowout routine, so I'm gonna keep this pretty short and simple, but just a reminder, I do use the tension method. So now that I'm all done blow drying, I'll be honest with you guys, I was a little bit nervous because it lacked a little bit of movement, um, but you'll see once I straighten my hair that it was super conditioned and had plenty of movement. So not much has changed from last year. I am still using my Ion One Stroke Straightener. It is still my favorite to this date because it literally gets the job done in one stroke. And just like last year, I am using a smooth brush rather than a rat tail comb to chase with because I feel like the heat is just distributed a little bit better that way. Now the process is long for me because my hair is coarse. I do like to work in very tiny sections. That way I don't have to do multiple passes. Ah, just look how smooth and shiny this hair is. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I do use the 400 degree setting on my straightener. And just like that, we are done. My hair is shiny, my hair is conditioned. Between the Smooth and Shine products and the technique that I use, this is by far my best results to date. I've recently cut my hair, but I could use another trim on my ends, so I am going to do that, and I will come back on here and show you the results. So there you have it, folks. These are my final results. My ends have been trimmed, and they look so much healthier. Guys, I have been loving the straight hair. I've been rocking it for about two weeks now, and I don't intend on changing it for a while. Special thank you to Smooth and Shine for sending these amazing products because this, like I said, is the best that my hair has ever looked straight. 
Thanks again for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.